All right, so let us begin using Daga. Now in this current project, we have a class, a class called house. It's a simple class. We have a constructor and we have a two string method. When a house is created, it prints out house created. We also have another class called kitchen it has a constructor and of course it says kitchen created when you create a new object of kitchen now we haven't used tagger here but we will do what will normally be done when you're creating a new object so let's say i create a new object of house and i print out house Remember that it has a two string method. So it will print out house created and this is a house. How do we tell Daga to create a house? For example, instead of creating a new object or creating a new object of house manually how do we tell Daga to create it for us now before doing that we need to tell Daga how to create a house in order to do that we put the inject annotation on the constructor so let me explain the inject annotation simply tells Daga when you want to create an object of house, use this constructor. So what we can do now is to create what we call a component. Now we can have different classes with the inject annotation. But then how does Daga find out all these inject annotations? We have the component. So the component will create a graph that will link all the dependencies and their various dependencies. We're going to create a method here that returns house. The name of the method doesn't matter. But then we're using it to get a house instance. Now, Daga knows how to get a house instance because of the inject annotation. What we will do now is to build the project. After rebuilding the project, you will get an instance of that interface. The instance of the interface will have Daga in front of it. So my interface is called app graph. So the instance is called Daga app graph. Then we call dot create on it. Now, instead of creating a new house manually, we're going to tell the app graph to give us an instance of house. We're going to call get new house. Remember that when you're creating this method, the name does not matter. What matters is the return value. So how does Daga know how to create a new instance of house? It is because in the class house, we have an inject annotation on the constructor. Now we can run it. Can you see that there was almost no difference? When we created a new house, it printed out house created. How did we create a new house? By calling get new house. The same thing can apply to kitchen. Remember that we have a class called kitchen. Because we aren't using Daga in the class called kitchen, we can create it by using the new keyword. This is a manual way of creating the kitchen. And we are not making use of dependency injection here. But let's say we wanted Daga to create the kitchen for us. Now this will tell Daga, anytime you need a kitchen, this is how to create it. Now, because we would need a kitchen instance sometime, we would create a method here 
that returns kitchen. Now, the return type, like I said, is what is important. You can give the method name anything, but I see get kitchen as convenient. Remember that when you finish, you rebuild the project because the whole graph will have to be rebuilt. Now, instead of using new kitchen, I will use that graph instance and say graph.getKitchen. This will tell Daga, I need a kitchen. It will go to the kitchen class, see the constructor and create a kitchen for me. We are just scratching the surface and there is more to learn in Daga.